Prince Harry has reportedly hit up a swanky ski resort with Kris Jenner's boyfriend. The Duke of Sussex, 39, is said to have been enjoying the slopes with business executive Corey Gamble, 43, at Aspen in Colorado. After her high-profile divorce from Caitlyn Jenner, 74, the Kardashian family matriarch found love with her longtime boyfriend Corey. Harry and Gamble were also apparently joined by Bumble founder Whitney Wolfe, 34, and her husband Michael Hurd. Harry's been skiing with Corey, a source told MailOnline. They've been skiing during the day and going to one of the better known speakeasies in the evening. Meanwhile, Harry seemed to be in a ski chalet when he gave a speech to winners of the Diana Legacy Award last night. Meghan is not believed to have attended, but is instead building a database of customers following her new brand launch. But earlier this month she jetted off to Utah for a perfect ski trip with pals and the kids. The Duchess of Sussex flew from her and Prince Harry's £11 million California mansion to the snowy slopes of Powder Mountain. Meghan, 42, escaped with pals Heather Dorick, Kelly McKee's Ojfin and their families. The trio were snapped on top of the mountains cozied up in beanie hats, big coats and sunglasses as the sun shone down. From a young age, both Harry and William were taught to ski and were regularly snapped with their parents on the slopes in Austria and Switzerland. During their early attempts, William was said to be cautious while Harry allegedly used to race downhill from the age of six after just a few hours of coaching. It comes as Meghan last night unveiled her new lifestyle brand American Riviere Orchard in an Instagram post at 5 p.m., just two hours before William was set to speak at the Diana Legacy Awards. Brand and culture expert Nick Heed said the new launch shows Meghan is taking a step towards becoming a major player in the celebrity brand market. He added, as a revenue steam she can make millions from her own brand and build a big database of consumers who want to buy into a bit of Meghan. The Sussexes then made a second announcement to reveal the winner of their $100,000 Digital Civil Rights Award. And later that night Prince Harry appeared over a video linked to chat to award winners. In his video chat with youngsters, Harry said, Thank you, very much, for inspiring so many others. And at the same time protecting my mother's legacy, I really appreciate that. And, again, well done on this fantastic group of individuals. Meghan and Harry have now been accused of profiting off their titles through the lifestyle brand, which is said to include links to buy products. A mysterious new Instagram account for American Riviere Orchard appeared online on March 14, 2024. The page's biography says the brand is by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex and visitors are linked to a website where they can join a mailing list. And industry insiders told Page Six the site will focus on home, food, garden and lifestyle goods. The source said, she's been working on this for over a year and it's all the things that are close to her heart, all the things she's passionate about. Another insider told the Mail, it's a lifestyle and cooking brand called American Riviera Orchard. The brand is meant to coincide with the launch of a new cookery show for Netflix. Megan will be making, and selling, products such as jams. And at some point there will be a book and blog etc. The fresh move comes after the Queen banned the couple from using Sussex Royal after they stepped away from royal duty four years ago. The Queen ordered the Sussexes to mothball it in the January 2020 exit settlement, when Meghan and Harry stopped being senior members of the royal family.